Well, um, right now in here I'm growing um, a lot of basil. We, we generally grow three different kinds. We grow, grow a sweet, a Genovese, and a dwarf. We're doing, every now and then we'll do lemon or cinnamon or some kind of specialty basil that someone would get a kick out of. Um, but for the most part we do the things that we find sell the best. Um, and that's kind of part of the economics that we're looking at, um, figuring out what the market actually wants is interesting, really interesting. So uh, we grow, also we grow a lot of greens, we grow mustard greens, um, lettuce, bok choy, um, we grow Swiss chard, you can see some of that over here. Um, we grow some leaf lettuces and some romaine. Uh, one thing we discovered, we put a lot of leaf lettuce out at first because we figured that's what people would like. People didn't like it. They wanted romaine. They want head lettuce. I don't understand it, but I'm a gardener, so, you know. The reality is, is that the, the market has conditioned people to want certain things. And uh, people tend to prefer romaine. It seems simpler for them or something. So, okay. now, you know, it takes about eight weeks. When we, when we learn something, it takes about two months for us to get from learning it to actually implementing um, a fix. So, We've got a lot of romaine now, but that took us the first month of production to figure out. Um, so everything is delayed, and we're starting to get to the point where we actually have the, the right stuff, or the things that are selling well, or that consumers are looking for. Um, and we do a lot of consumer feedback stuff as well as that goes to try and figure out what the market actually wants. But um, we do basil. That tower has been was harvested. Um, we just took it out yesterday, out of the display. So they, uh, it was cut back pretty well, and uh, we'll get another flush of growth. We do one cutting on our basil, and then we throw it out, and we start from scratch, just to kind of take, keep the taste in really good shape, get, you know, the flavor. Uh, it gets more bitter the older the plant gets. So we found we can do one cutting, and it, it, with no impact to flavor, really, uh, before we have to go back. That's Genovese, I think. Um, that's a Genovese basil. So that'll be in a, another two weeks, and then it'll go to market. And uh, on those towers, we can get anywhere from $40 to well over $100 in profit, in gross, well, not profit, gross, off of that off of that tower. So by regen, just sticking it back in there and letting it regrow, we're able to chop about two weeks off the production cycle. So that's nice. It helps us cycle uh, that's part of the logistic model that we're looking at. It's trying to figure out how we do this most efficiently, how we uh, generate the most income in the shortest amount of time. 